I've never heard of a 100 course dinner being done before. Cooking 100 courses is a mental exercise. You know, thank God it's just for a couple of people. If it 100 courses for 100 people, we probably wouldn't be talking right now. We'd probably be back there cooking going, ah! I'm excited. We've got some big food names, some from the city, some not. We've got some journalists. We got some writers, we got some critics. We have people who know food, and that's important. When I was coming up with a 100 course menu, I'm like, well, how are we gonna group this? Normally you go from cold to hot, or light and refreshing to savory and bold. The menu was so vast, it had so many things on it that we had to separate it in these genres. Land, air, sea, garden, and that's how we kind of mapped it out. First dish I thought of for preparing this dinner was easily my grandmother's coupillon. It represents me, it represents Cajun country, it represents my family and my restaurant. I have friends sitting down at the table, I have strangers sitting down at the table. I think that's great, because food is very unifying. You get to know people. I mean, you know, you want to sit down, you want to get to know somebody, have a dinner with them. That's what I like about this. It's almost a, a story and a meal and an experience, kind of all wrapped in one. You'll get a bunch of different textures, you're gonna get a bunch of flavors, you'll get a bunch of colors. You didn't get salty, sweet, spicy, smoked, raw. So I didn't have to buy 100 pounds of beef, I had to buy 100 ounces of different things. It's an exercise like, did we forget anything? We probably forgot something. But sharing a meal with the Tubes is an experience. Flavors of what it's all about. I'm more worried about them than worried about me. Because I can cook 100 courses. Can you eat 100 courses?